Hey, Banner fans, what can I say? It was what I expected out of Tennessee. But, let's get right to it. Amari Cooper struck first blood with a 51-yard touchdown on our starting possession. Yeldon takes it to the one-yard line and then punches it through on the next possession for the touchdown. Norwood makes a sweet touchdown as well. McCarron lunges for the end zone and stretches out for the touchdown. But he found that he had put his knee down on the one-yard line before crossing the plane of the end zone. So, on the next snap from the one-yard line, McCarron hands it off to Yeldon, and he runs it down the middle of the defenders for the touchdown. Blue makes an interception, but we lose the ball on the two-yard line due to a fumble by Drake. Landon Collins catches an interception and runs it 89 yards for a pick six touchdown. And that brings us into the half with a score of 35 to nothing, Bama. In the second half, Kevin Norwood makes an awesome catch in midair and landing on his back at the five yard line. And on the next snap, McCarron hands it off to Yeldon and he runs it in for the touchdown. Griffith makes a 20-yard field goal, and when the clock goes to triple zero, the final score is 45 to 10, Bama. Our guys had a bye week to get ready for LSU, which was a good thing since it was a very physical game. Our offense tipped the scale with LSU's defense not lasting in the second half. But let's get to the highlights. Landon Collins picks up a fumble on the two-yard line and runs it to the ten-yard line. But we are unable to capitalize on that fumble recovery drive. Mittenberger snaps his center and steps forward to change the play and causes his own fumble. And we are able to take that and make a 41-yard field goal compliments of Cade Foster. Howard makes a great catch and runs past the defenders and into the left corner pylon for a touchdown. Norwood makes an exceptional catch at the left corner of the end zone for a touchdown as well. But is slow to get up. But he, then again he does get up on his own after about a minute. But he was down due to being struck on his ribs in the end zone. And at the half, the score is 17-14, Bama. In the second half, on fourth down, we put we put the punting team out with C.J. Mosley as the caller. And he sees the defense not set in their three-point stance, and they're also placed in a punt-safe formation. So he calls for the fake. And they are able to run it four yards into getting the first down. Yeldon rushes to the right corner of the end zone for a touchdown on that position. And then comes back around on another possession for another touchdown from the one yard line. Fowler takes a dive into the end zone, just breaking the plane with the ball from the three yard line and to shut the game down. Right. Our defense sacks Mittenberger four times in a row to take the ball back. A.J. McCarron takes a knee for three downs. And at the end, Saban runs out to the middle of the field with McCarron and gives him a huge hug. <laughs> Ending the game with a score of 38-17, Bama. I have to say, I was nervous in the first half of this game. But I was really impressed how our guys adjusted during the half and came out 
and handle business, knocking LSU off balance, and getting the well-deserved win. Next up is Mississippi State. We will be playing in their house, but I'm not too nervous on this one. We just need to keep our fundamentals on lock and take that road win to the house. The game will be on ESPN at 6.45 p.m. Central Time. You can also tune in to ESPN 1400 AM for the play-by-play -play from the voice of the Crimson Tide, Eli Gold, and our pregame shows around 3 p.m. Well, until my next episode, God bless, Roll Tide. Hey Banner fans, before I let you go, I thoroughly hope you will go to my Facebook page and like it, and also visit my YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for listening to my show, 